Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, Step Into a New Day Life Coaching. And today I am wanting to focus on the whole concept of what is a life coach and just really have a sit down chat with you and just be authentic and just kind of explain certain things. I wanna to explain to you what a life coach is. I wanna give you true testaments of the power of coaching that I've experienced in my own life and what I have seen with my clients. And then I would also then like to refer to you and show you where you are able to actually search for coaches and look for coaches if that is something that you are interested in. So if you would like to hear more about that, please stay with me. And for those of you that do not know me, my name is Brandis and I was a high school Spanish teacher turned stay-at-home mom turned certified professional Christian life coach and I love helping mothers feel good in their homes, minds, bodies, and spirits and live God's best for their lives. So today I am in my guest room in my house. I don't think I've ever filmed in here but my husband and son are watching a movie downstairs and it was really loud when I was gonna when I was gonna try to film downstairs in my dining room so this is the room I chose. And I am, I've got some nice pumpkin earrings on for fall, which I'm excited about that I get to wear. And I have a pimple slash, I don't know what this is exactly, but I, I have, I really have no clue. So just putting it all out there just to start with what is a life coach. I also have a Facebook page and I did a little rendition of this on my Facebook page. You are more than welcome to join me on Facebook at Step Into a New Day. If you'd like to hang out with me there, I do Wisdom Wednesdays on that channel normally that are, you know, I try to make the videos like two to three minutes. Today I wanted to do a longer extended version of what it is. And I say all this because obviously my channel Step Into a New Day is based around my life. It's been my journey and progression to actually becoming a life coach. Um, and it's also, you know, about my daily life, but life coaching is definitely a part of this channel as well. And I ask you right from the start to listen to what I have to say today with open ears about coaching for yourself and not only for yourself, but for other people that you encounter. Coaching is a fairly new profession. Um, I think it's been around for about 25 years or so, but I think it's finally starting to catch on and it is becoming um, maybe more heard, more understood. And so I believe in the power of coaching so much that if there's anything that touches you with what I say, if you would pass this along to people that you know or someone that you think would benefit from this, I would be so very, very grateful. So starting out, you know, what is a life coach? And so when I'm on a discovery call with someone who may not understand life coaching as well, and a discovery call is just a free chat that I like to have with my clients before we start coaching, where I get to know if I, if the person and me are going to be a good fit, if I'm going to be able to help them based on what they are you know, going through. So what do I tell them about life coaching? <clears throat> and the important thing to really distinguish is life coaching is different than therapy. So with life coaching, the, the main objective is growth. It's always about growth. It's always about forward movement. So someone that wants a life coach, they are wanting to grow. They are not, um, you know, aching and hurting so, so much to where they can't move forward, or it's not even in their mind that they're wanting to move forward. Someone that is still hurting tremendously, and I understand what that feels like. Someone that is hurting tremendously definitely is gonna wanna seek therapy first. And sometimes life coaches can go ahead and you know work at the same time with someone that's seeing a therapist because they're kind of working on two different parts of their life. But the life coach is not necessarily gonna be working on the super duper achy, achy part of that person's life that's really preventing them from, um, you know, just just living and, and just living their life. So a life coach is there if you are wanting to grow. A life coach is there if you are someone that is just so busy and you can never get, you know, time to really think and process things on your own. A life coach is someone that um, it, it's been coined in um, some coaching books is your thinking partner. So a life coach comes alongside you, 
thinks with you and is there to ask you a lot of the hard questions, a lot of the questions that will help you process the information that you're going through. They are there for that. A life coach is someone that um, gets so excited about being curious. So they're going to be curious about your life. They're going to ask you all these questions that maybe in a day-to-day -day would make you feel uncomfortable, but within the time and space of coaching, there it is a very sacred space. So you are going to be able to um, tap into that creative side of your brain. And as a life coach, the life coach helps pull and draw answers out of you that are already within you. The life coach's job is not to give you the answers, is not to give you advice, it is to truly ask you those questions to help you get in and tap in to yourself in order to answer and think of new ideas and new things for yourself. And finally, a life coach is all about helping you take action. That's very important. Therapy, you can take action, but also in therapy, there's a lot of just processing, processing, processing. But as a life coach, it is our job to help you take action. So it is, we, we help you design a plan. So at the end of our call, and they can range anywhere from, you know, 30 to 50 minutes or so. But at the end of the call, we are, again, walking alongside of you. We're asking you what your next steps are going to be. We are asking you when it's going to happen. How is it going to happen? Who do you need there to help you make this happen? Is there anything that you have forgotten? Um, what obstacles are there that are going to come into your way of not allowing this action step to happen? And then what are you going to do about it? You know, if this obstacle does pop up and we really help just help you package that all and really make whatever happened in the coaching call actionable to where you're actually going to do it. And it doesn't always mean that you're going to do a physical thing. It could also be a state of being or a, a different way that you want to be thinking or you want to be practicing a different type of a mindset. But we are there as life coaches to really help you be committed to that forward movement. Life coach. And so where does the Christian life coach perspective come into play? Again, a life coach especially one that is trained, which I'm going to talk about in a second here, is able to coach anybody around anything because as coaches, we are trained um, a specific coaching process. And actually, this is a really good segue. So I'm going to talk about that, that little button that maybe you saw in the thumbnail. Um, this is from the Interna International Coaching Federation, and it is an ACC, one of the first certified levels um, at the international level for a coach. So I was able to get this. I'm also certified at my school, um, Professional Christian Coaching Institute, um, at CPLC. So I'm certified there, but I'm also certified at the international level. So what does that mean? That means that I had to go through very, very specific training. My school was aligned with International Coaching Federation. So all of my classes and courses fit in with the standards that they have for coaches. So we are on the same page as far as learning the same process um, as to how to coach. And I needed a certain amount of hours of coaching. I needed a certain amount of mentor hours and I needed a certain amount of hours to actually, you know, with my classes. And then I also needed to hand in a recording that passed at the international coaching level. So when you are looking for a coach, you might want to know, um, and again, people don't need this, but you'll know the background and what they had to go through in order to get to this point. But if you see coaches that have an ACC, a PCC, um, an MCC from the International Coaching Federation, you know that they were basically held to very strict criteria in order to become the coach that they are today. Right. So that's just so the International Coaching Federation, you've got coaches from all around, from anywhere, from all denominations, all religions, all around the world, there are coaches. I went to a, I went to Professional Christian Coaching Institute, so I am a Christian coach. And all that really means is that I am open, obviously, for clients that are Christian, that do believe that the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding them because 
that is who I lean on. I lean on Jesus. I lean on the Holy Spirit. I lean on God within my coaching calls and conversations. So that is always present, whether I say it or not, that is present. That's in my heart. That's in my soul as I'm coaching. Um, before a coaching call, I'll make sure to, you know, say a prayer, um, and really try to be connected to God as I am Definitely coaching. I believe that God has a plan for your life. So I'm believing, obviously, that everything that happens in our call, it's meant for a reason. All of these things that you are able to um, focus on and experience within the call happens because it's supposed to happen. That I would like to touch base on is the power of coaching. I want to talk to you from my own perspective and then what I have seen with my clients. So from my own perspective with coaching, um, I've been in therapy. If you know my story, you can, you know, go back to old videos or I'll put a card up here, but you know my story. I've been through a lot and I've, I've needed, um, a lot of therapy just to mend my heart and to heal my heart. And as my heart has healed and mended, um, I definitely, you know, have been more receptive and open to coaching. But I would say for sure, I've been coached by people that were not technically coaches before actually, you know, experiencing a certified coach. I've been coached by people that weren't coaches. And, and the major difference is these people that have been in my life as coaches, they talked to me in such a forward thinking way. They were giving me, they weren't focusing on my past. They knew it was there, but they were focusing on the future with me. And to me, just not wallowing in the past, just really opening up to the future was so powerful. So a coach knows how to ask those questions in the futuristic way to kind of pull you out um, from anything that's going on in the past to really start to move you forward. So I, for me personally, when I have gotten coached by certified coaches, by coaches within my program, they, number one, have been the instrumental tools that have helped me actually form my business. They've helped me create a vision for my business. They have helped me get over hurdles of limiting beliefs and have helped me kind of move away from a certain way that I was programmed into opening up a little bit more in order to grow, in order to be, and to continue to transform into this business owner that I'm trying to be with Step Into a New Day Life Coaching. Uh, coaches have also just, you know, helped me think of ideas and uh, things just for my own family and, and for my own children and, and a way I want to be. I've had um, just s certain, just certain, uh, thoughts and visions in my head. I'm, I think I really think in pictures sometimes. And so when I would get off a coaching call, I would then have to, you know, type it up, put my pictures. And then if you've seen other videos, you know, I have my armoire and I put all those pictures up to constantly remind me of everything that I learned with coaching. And I can always look back to that and refer to that. And they're my ideas and they're my thoughts and they're my visions that I got during a coaching session. And they're there for me always because that's just the way that my brain works and processes. I don't know how everyone's works, but that's how mine works. And that's how I was able to kind of take my information and it was able to help me move forward. So I am so thankful for the power of coaching. Um, I would not be where I am today right now without it. Absolutely not. So I think it's just so, um, it's so calming and peaceful and it's so cool to spend that time on yourself. And to get into the zone and to wait and to really allow yourself to be open to the coach's questions and to answer them and to just see what comes through from yourself. It is just so beneficial. I can, I can't, I can't explain it any further. You have to be in a coaching session to understand its transformative power because it really happens and you'll feel it with the first session. What have I noticed with my clients? Um, what, what have they been able to walk away with? Um, you know that I'm obviously, I have such a heart for mothers. Um, I have a heart for people in transition. I have a heart for people, um, you know, wanting to start their own businesses as well or wanting to go for their own dream. But with the people that I've been working with so far, I've been noticing the moms that I work with. They are gaining more confidence. They are using their voice within their family more. They are honoring themselves. Um, women I'm working with are decluttering. They're creating new visions for their home. 
Um, they are concentrating on relationships sometimes and how do they want to interact in these relationships. Um, some of these women are, you know, being able to set aside time to actually be closer to God. They're allowing themselves that time. Uh, women that I've worked with are starting to slow down. Maybe they were going too fast and they realized that simplicity was more necessary in their life. And through coaching, they have been able to slow down. There have been um, times where uh, women maybe felt lost and they didn't know their purpose or direction uh, or even just to discover themselves again. And they have been able to do that through the power of coaching. And so these are just some examples of what I have been able to see with the women that I have been working with. And there's so much more and I'm so excited because there's so much more uh, impact and ways that women are going to be able to benefit from coaching. But those are just some specific examples within you know, the specific niche that I'm in with the woman, women that I am working with. All right. And the final thing that I would like to talk about and discuss is, you know, where can you find a coach if you are in need of a coach? The first statement I want to say is that there are tons of coaches out there and every coach is going to be serving a different type of a niche. And you have life coaches and you have business coaches and you have executive coaches and you have leadership coaches. So you've got those as well. And then within each of those branches, you have the people that they are wanting to serve. I really love to serve moms. That's kind of where my focus is right now. Um, and there's going to be people out there that are super specialized about serving people with ADHD. There's going to be people out there that just want to serve men. There's going to be people out there that just want to serve maybe mothers with um, autistic children. There's going to be coaches out there that want to serve, um, you know, mothers that are forming a specific business or there's a coach for like everything there really is so it's when you actually find a coach you want to read their bio you want to find out if they are a fit with you know kind of the direction it is that you are going to to go and what you are needing and your needs and your desires so i'm going to tell you about three places that you can go in order to find coaches and i want to tell you that out of these three places most likely you are going to find ICF coaches. So International Coaching Federation, when I talked to you earlier about those coaches that have to kind of go through a lot of specific standards in order to be certified, these three places, you are going to be able to find those coaches. So I am in Illinois. And so if you are looking for a coach in the Illinois area, specifically in the Chicagoland area, I have uh, www.icf-chicago.org and you just will get to that website. You'll click on hire a coach. You'll click on that and then it'll bring you to where you can start looking and you'll find somebody, you'll click on them and you'll start reading about them and see if they are a fit for you. Uh, the second place where you can find a coach would be www.coachingfederation.org. Once again, when you get to that website, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna click on find a coach and there will be a plethora. That will probably be the biggest website because that's the International Coaching Federation website. You'll probably find so many coaches there. And then lastly, um, another place, if you are looking for a specific Christian coach, you can go to uh, HTTPS colon backslash backslash christiancoaches.com. And I'll also leave this information uh, down in the drop bar below. But And then you'll just go to that tab and then you will click on find a coach as well. So I hope that all this information was helpful to you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for um, just those of you that are watching my videos and are following this journey. This is part of it. This is part of my journey, just getting this information out there. If you have any questions ever about coaching, if anybody you know has any questions, please feel free. You can email me at brandis at stepintoanewday.com. You can visit um, the website www.stepintoanewday.com to receive even more information if this has piqued your interest at all i really encourage you to just get the word out about life coaches they're there i think that's all i have today i'm sure there's going to be other videos about coaching and kind of maybe breaking things down a little bit more but this is one of them that is on my channel right now 
and just thank you so much for being here. This was a longer one. This was a chit chat one. But at the end of the day, I hope that this can be useful. Please share, share, like, subscribe, share this with anybody who you think would like to know about life coaching. And I will talk to you in my next video. Take care, you guys. Bye.